This is an audio production quick take by Marwak. The content that follows is from the ebook VoiceOver on Linux, which explains how to create professional voiceover products using Linux and associated open source software. Today's topic is audio normalization with FFmpeg. If you've worked with audio at all, whether recording or editing, it's very likely that you've at least heard of normalization. If you've sensed that normalization is important, you're absolutely right. Normalization involves changing the volume level of audio to a specified common value, to a level that you might call the norm for the project. If you've ever listened to a program that has different levels, that have you frequently changing the volume in your player, you can see the value of having the volume of all audio set to a constant level. If you're the producer of audio products, proper normalization is not an option to be omitted. There are three types of normalization. Peak normalization changes the volume of all samples equally to bring the value of the loudest sample to a specified level. The loudness value is measured in dB below full scale, or dBFS. RMS normalization changes the value of all the samples to where their average electrical volume overall is a specified level. The letters RMS stand for root mean square and the methodology is very similar to the Pythagorean theorem in geometry. RMS is also measured in dBFS, but the value in this case is of the average electrical energy in the audio. A detailed layman's description of RMS is in the ebook VoiceOver on Linux. Loudness normalization. Change the value of the audio in small chunks of 400 milliseconds to a calculated loudness level as perceived by humans. Loudness measurements are based on the EBU R128 recommendation, which in turn is based on the international ITU R BS.1770 recommendation. These use the loudness measures of LU, loudness units, and LUFS, loudness units referenced to full scale. For brevity, I like to call loudness normalization LUFS normalization. Usually, the LUFS and RMS values of a PCM audio file will be very close to each other but rarely exact, because they are measuring different things in the same file. However, you can loudness normalize to a LUFS level, and the result usually meets RMS level targets, while at the same time having the file sound to be the proper level in human perception. It's a win-win. Let's start with a short audio clip, and loudness normalize it to minus 16 LUFS. To do that with FFmpeg, the audio must be at least three seconds long for the loud norm filter to properly work with it. And with that prerequisite, the command is. Here's a walk through the syntax of that command. We use the dash I option switch to tell FFmpeg which file to use as input. With the dash AR alias, we tell FFmpeg that we want a constant sample rate of 44100 samples per second. We then use the dash AF audio filter alias to apply the FFmpeg loud norm filter. The I value is the integrated loudness target, sort of like the RMS dBFS level you'd like the file to sound like to humans. The TP level is the true peak, which is technically different than straight peak normalization, but its effect is similar to peak normalization in most practical situations. The LRA value is the loudness range target. In this example, you're looking for a range of seven LUFs that humans will perceive as the loudest and softest parts of the audio file. Seven is the FFmpeg default value for loudness range. Now let's check the loudness normalization results against the electrical RMS values. To keep the screen uncluttered, I'll use the bash script from a previous video on FFmpeg basics, which I named fnorm to display the RMS values of the before and after files. These are the RMS values of the original file. And these are the RMS values after processing to the LUFS target. As you can see, the RMS values are close to the LUFS values in the FFmpeg command that produced it, which is usually the case. If the resultant RMS value is out of range of client specs, you can adjust the RMS value and still have the loudness perception benefits of the previous LUFS normalization. This has been an audio production quick take by Marwak. For more details on using open source tools for audio processing, see the ebook Voiceover on Linux by Mark Caldwell Walker.